Tell me who benefits from this deal. This week, the 49ers restructured left tackle Trent Williams' contract. According to the NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, the 49ers advanced half of Williams' 12.5 million base salary and guaranteed it. As part of the restructured contract, the 49ers also agreed not to give Williams the franchise tag in 2021 when he will become an unrestricted free agent. Sounds like a double win for Williams. He gets money now, which is good for him because he refused to play in 2019 and earned zero dollars. And if he stays healthy through 2020, he will get a fat multi-year contract in 2021 from some team, which probably will make him the highest paid offensive lineman of all time. The current highest paid offensive lineman is Houston's Laramie Tunsil, who earns 22 million per season. Williams is much better than him, meaning Williams could earn 23 million per season. Why would he settle for less? I'm sure the 49ers would love to keep Williams past 2020, but how can they pay him 23 million per season, Jimmy Garoppolo 27 million per season, and George Kittle 20 million per season? That's what Kittle is worth, and he will be a free agent in 2021. And the salary cap might not rise much next year if fans can't go to games. The 49ers probably can't afford to keep all three. So Williams probably will be a one season rental. The 49ers made it more difficult to keep him past 2020 because they can't tag him. He will be obscenely expensive. The 49ers lost leverage. What motivated the 49ers to restructure Williams deal? Simple. They need him happy next season. Remember, Williams just sat out an entire year to spite Washington. He hasn't played a full 16 game season since 2013. Williams decides when Williams plays and the 49ers can't afford him to take time off or turn on the organization the way he turned on Washington. The 49ers Super Bowl window is open now. They need a full season of Williams at his best. Then he can leave and go wherever he wants. Just deliver the 49ers a Super Bowl championship first. Smart play by the 49ers for now because they've bought Williams happiness and motivation. But what's the motivation for Williams to play through injury next season the way Joe Staley did? If Williams injures his hamstring, will he miss a month so he doesn't make it worse and jeopardize his chances of getting a huge contract in 2021? If he injures his shoulder, will he shut himself down midseason and have surgery? Why would Williams play injured for a team that probably won't re-sign him? I guess we'll find out.